Hello, this is Veronica. I'd like to introduce to you to Princess Diana Flores. Diana, what are you doing here today? I am helping out the community, giving up the free stuff for the students. And um, how long have you been the princess? For a couple of months now, about a year. And what school do you attend? I went to Almonte High School. Now I go to Rio Hondo College. Very good. Thank you. Hi, this is Veronica once again, and this here is... Jonathan Haas. I'm the president of the Almonte Kiwanis Club. And Jonathan, if I can ask, what are you doing here today? Um, our club is uh, giving away notebooks and uh, about 4,000 notebooks, folders, other items that were donated by Staples, Walmart, and also by our other uh, Kiwanian members. And how many people do you expect to see here today? Uh, more the merrier. Um, expecting about 1,500 people. Um, uh, but uh, we have more than enough, as you can see, to, to go around. And we'll be giving away everything. Um, we're not going to take, take anything back. So everything is going to go. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, this is Veronica here, and I'd like to introduce to you Jesse Soriano. Jesse, what are you doing here today? Um, I'm getting stuff to go to school. <laughs> and uh, what exactly are you getting today? I'm getting pencils, socks, and rulers, and notebooks and stuff. And if I can ask you, what grade are you in? I'm in eighth grade. Exciting. Thank you so much. And if I can introduce you? I'm Karime Cruz. <laughs> And what are you doing here today? Picking up stuff for school. <laughs> and how old are you? I'm 12. <laughs> what grade are you in? I'm 7. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sponsors, volunteers, and most importantly, welcome to all the children that are here. My name is Ken Roush. I'm executive director of the Almonte South Almonte Chamber of Commerce and the Downtown Almonte Business Asso Association, and we sincerely welcome everybody. One thing you must remember with today's event, this is 100% volunteers. Volunteers, people working here, sponsorships we have over 48 sponsors this year and we are looking forward to giving out over 1500 school supplies to our children in the in the community it's just a valiant effort in addition we have our merchants on the mall valley mall please please go on valley mall this afternoon and support the merchants there's about 10 merchants on the mall that are also giving out school supplies and you'll see those on your on your uh, maps that you're going to be receiving when you get in line. So please, patronize our, our Valley Mall merchants. At this time, I would like to uh, call up Mr. Nathan Esquival, a student at uh, Durfee School, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag and the United States of America and to the respect of the United States, one nation, under God, under the law, and liberty and justice for all. Good job, Nathan. 
At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Councilwoman Vicki Martinez, who will introduce our dignitaries. And it should be noted, it is her vision, and her vision alone, who created this great event today. Vicki. Good morning, families. All right. I want to hear from the children out there. I want to hear you very loud. How many of you, if you're ready to go to school, I want you on the count of three to say, school, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three. School! You could do better than that. We'll try that again in just a moment. It's my honor and privilege to be here with all of you today, quite honestly. This is a dream come true. And I'm happy to share this day with all of you. And I'd like to share this day with all of you as well, our dignitaries who have taken the time to come and join us. With that, I'd like to go ahead and introduce the mayor of the city of El Monte, Mayor Andre Quintero. Today I'm supported by my colleagues, Councilmember Juventino J. Gomez. Councilmember Bart Patel. To my council, thank you very much for supporting me with this event. Representing in our state legislature in the assembly, we have assembly member Edwin Chow. Representing the Mountain View School District, we have Board of Trustee Adam Carranza. We also have our superintendent of the Mountain View School District, Lillian Maldonado French. Yeah. Representing the El Monte Union High School District Board of Trustees, Mrs. Tess Velasco. Yeah. Also Board of Trustees, Sal Ramirez. Also, Trustee Maria Elena Talamantes. <laughs> Superintendent Nick Salerno. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to our agencies that are representing our schools, we thank you very much <laughs> for your partnership and being here with us. I don't want to forget our assistant city manager, Jesus Gomez. Before I continue, there is a very special man. He is our city treasurer, Mr. Henry Velasco. Representing our police department, we've got police chief Steve Schuster. And from a local city right next door, we're honored to have council member Sandra Armenta. Yeah. Very good. And I'm a <laughs> assembly member representing portion of Almani in the state legislature. We have assembly member Roger Hernandez. There. This is Veronica, and I'd like to introduce to you Councilmember Martinez. And how are you doing today? Wonderful, thank you. And um, I, I see here that you are doing a special thing for children today. Today is the Back to School Resource Fair. This is the third annual, and what's going on is we're providing free backpacks, pencils, glue sticks, uh, pencil pouches and haircuts to kids getting ready to start school this week. And I hear this is a fresh start for children. 
It is because when you're getting ready to start school, they're on a different calendar than we are. We start a new year with a New Year's resolution. They start a new year by going back to school, wondering who's going to be their teacher, who's going to be their uh, new best friend. We want to make sure that they get started off with a great new school year, with everything that they need to have to have a great year, educationally, as well as for their mind, spirit, and soul. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hi, this is Veronica here, and I'd like to introduce to you... Georgina Maya from Angel Dental Care in Almonte. And uh, I hear, Angel, that you're uh, pretty sophisticated here. Well, we are here to represent uh, our commitment to the community and the children in need, so we are here uh, participating. And if I can ask you, what exactly are you giving out today? We're giving out toothbrushes, dental floss, and uh, brochures, information on children's and dental health. Right on. Thank you very much. Muy bonito. Este, Dios les bendiga. This is Veronica here, and I'd like to introduce to you oh, Vanessa Mesqua, instructor of PIB here at Almani Beauty School. <laughs> and Vanessa, what are you doing here today? Um, today we're giving back haircuts to the community of Almani. Um, you know, we're really appreciated with the community here, so we like to give free haircuts to all the students every year. Now, does this happen once a year usually? Once a year, yes. Okay, well, thank you very much. Hello, this is Veronica here, and this is, I'd like to introduce you to you. Uh, this is Councilman Juventino J. Gomez here in the city of Almonte. Hi, and what brings you here today? Well, it's uh, one of our city-sponsored children's back-to-school resource fair. It's one of the biggest things that we do here in the city of Almonte, or one of many things, but it's a more important event as we help our children get back to school with backpacks and pencils, erasers, haircuts, and every service that we can provide them. So they have a great first day of school. And if our children have a successful day of school, school year, and school future, they will come back and do so many great things here in the city of El Monte. Well, that sounds like a plan. If I can ask you, how many people do you expect to come out today? I believe that we'll have close to about 3,000. 3,000 children, families out here. We have quite a few now. Everybody comes and we have so many different agencies and resources here for them also that uh, partner up with us. The Chamber, our Police Department, Police Officers Association, all the different uh, groups here in the city of Almonte get together to make this a successful day for our children. Wow, that sounds like a plan. Thank you very much, Councilman. Hi, This is Veronica here. I'd like to introduce to you. Ed Chow, the assembly member for the 49th Assembly District. And what brings you here today? Well, this great event, this back to school fair program, it's a great program. Looks like we have a great turnout, so I'm very pleased to be here. Would you say it's a fresh start? It is a fresh start for all of us, in fact, for kids and families. So this is a very, very good uh, you know, a way to help us uh, kickstart the uh, school year. And what do you expect the expectancy of people today? I, uh, I see at least uh, thousands of people here, so I would expect a lot more today. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> 